guys, welcome back. This is Shannon with Got to Go Prepared. I want to do a little quick video here of a kind of an urban suburban type bag I put together. If um, you'll notice, this is navy blue. It is not tactical camouflage or anything like that. Uh, it does have a few things hanging on the side. So what I want to do is go over what I put in this bag and um, also with my phone ringing, of course, in op opportune times. I was going to film this somewhere else and it seemed to be a lot of noise everywhere. So it wasn't, uh, wasn't conducive to what I wanted to do. Um, so let's, uh, let's jump right into it. This bag is a Miltech bag. It is similar to a bag that I did a video on a few weeks ago. If you want to look back at that one, it's a, uh, the other one is more of a uh, multi-cam camouflage bag. Miltech bag I got on Amazon. I've got two of them, this one and the camo one I talked about in the other, other video. And they seem to hold up very, very good. I've only had them for a few months, but I've stuffed them full and carried them through the woods and things like that. And they really hold up great. The uh, I'll take a few things off of here and show you what I got in here as well. Let me adjust the camera for you so we can see this a little bit better. Let me see. I think that should do it right there. Might cut me out, but uh, you don't need to look at me anyway. Uh, on the outside here, I have a, with these straps on the outside, I have a an axe. And this is not one you can go buy somewhere. I did put a case that I got off of an axe that you can buy in the hardware store. You may recognize that and put it on there as a cover so I can make one. This is a hand forged axe by a friend of mine. I used to do quite a bit of native reenactment and a friend of mine, Indian friend, who hand forged and made that for me. But uh kind of looks like a Viking axe almost, but uh, I wrapped paracord around it so I had extra, extra cordage. Uh, good for pounding, chopping, or just self-protection. Right there, I have that on the outside. And it's optional. You're in an urban, urban area, you might want to just put a crowbar on the outside or a... Uh, a hammer or one of those hammer one side crowbar the other side uh, also on the outside here I have a stainless steel water bottle in black uh, this if you look at a previous video I did on some things you can get at Aldi I got this at Aldi for I can't remember how much it was you look at the other video I tell you a few bucks stainless steel bottle a little of nothing on the inside of this bar I, I've got a big 100 bar for a little food that's a lot of empty space in there you can throw a few things in there some food items or some Gatorade or something like that to uh, make your water taste better as well so I've got a container there on the outside I also have a uh, carabiner on the outside here and have a if you also watch that video the Aldi video you'll see this flashlight I got there as well it was wide and narrow beam good little flashlights great um, it's not a big brand name. It's got a Cree LED in it. And it's got the rear button. But you can see the review on that if you go on the other video and, and check that out on the discounted items I got at Aldi. Um, also on the outside I have a Grimlock here with a pair of gloves. Um, these are just a military issue type glove. Uh, you probably can go find them at a surplus place. Good leather glove, reinforced bottom. I've got several pair of these, got them on different bags, they're great gloves. Um, and then I also have a glow stick stuck here. On this side here, I have my knife. Some of these things, I will mention, this bag is 33 pounds the way it is. This knife is going to come off. If I have to go on foot with this bag, this knife is coming off and going on my belt. I made this uh, Kydex sheath myself. Fire striker. I took it off the sheet that came in. This is the SCH 30 F36, which I did a review on. You can go back and look at that video. Great knife, bushcraft knife. Some people strip the black off, and I talked about that. I just stripped a little bit off the top so I could strike my fire steel and kept the rest of it on there. Uh, Charade's coming out with a new one of these with my Carta handles, uh, same same blade. But I love this. I love this blade. But I've got paracord wrapped around it. Fire striker. 
I've got it rigged up the way I made this is to where that can go on my belt easy and I cannot use the dangler or I can run my belt through this and use the dangler to keep it out of the way if I'm actually working in a, in a camp situation. So that would actually come off and go on my belt so I would lose the weight on my shoulders once I did that. Also here is a, uh, a gun cleaning kit which I have strapped on there for my uh, firearm. Um, like I've mentioned before, I am a, a concealed carry permit holder, um, so I can have that with me at all times as well. If you go back and look at another earlier video when I talk about my 511 Tactical um, everyday carry bag that I keep with me, there's other items in that that I would probably take the whole bag with me along with this bag or any other bag that I chose to uh, take that would go along with me or I would um, cannibalize some of the items out of that bag and stick them in a cargo pocket or something of that nature to have there. Also, uh, on these knee pads, knee pads are uh, uh, just any environment from the woodlands to an urban area or suburban area. I'm standing on one knee right now on a hard ground. I can take these. Now I'm protecting my knees and protecting your body and protecting your health and all those things go hand in hand. So protect your knees, protect your eyes, protect your hands. You're in a, you, you don't want to get hurt or injured in a situation like that and just make your whole situation worse. But uh, that's on the outside here. Also on the handle here, I took navy blue paracord and did a, a cobra wrap on there for a better grip on my handle. Plus I have extra cordage there as well, in addition to the cordage that I carry on me, such as my bracelet uh, there as well. Also, you see the padding, lots of molly strapping in places to cinch this down. Good wide straps. They're stitched in really, really good. There's also a waist belt on here that's an option you, for you to use. You can strap stuff on this as well. I have here, stripped around the outside edge, is more eye protection. These are a set of military goggles. Uh, you know, you might run into a situation in a urban area or even a suburb area where something's gone awry like a um, social chaos situation and somebody may be launching, you know, smoke bombs or tear gas or something and you're just kind of caught up in a bad place, wrong place, wrong time. That can protect your eyes better than, than these glasses will and uh, keep some of that mess out of your eyes or dust or debris like the uh, folks dealt with on 9-11 from the buildings coming down and getting in their eyes. Um, also another small bag, I do carry a, a bandana as well, which can protect your, your respiratory and your airways as well. Um, but that's on the outside of this in addition to that. And here, this is for a water bladder back here. What I did, because I've got an exterior stainless steel box, I put these cutters in here, which I have painted black. So if you're in an urban suburban area and it's in a situation where it's uh, life or death you get through a certain area to protect yourself protect your family and you have to cut a chain or cut a lock to get into safety um, I believe that probably uh, you know I'd rather be safe and worry about the consequences of that later uh, of course don't do that in a non survival situation or urban chaos situation uh, don't use these unlawfully uh, these are that's only for an emergency situation Maybe you have to drive your vehicle through an area and it's locked. You can hop out and cut that and get yourself or your family to safety. Of course, the padding in here, I can't even feel those in there. The black being navy, navy blue, I will touch on that real quick. In an urban or suburban situation, I've heard a lot of people say, well, don't wear camouflage. It stands out. Well, we're in the south. If you don't have camouflage on somewhere, you might stand out. So I think it's your area. If you're in the middle of L.A. rocking around in fully tacked out camo, you may look a little odd. But even with this bag being navy blue, navy blue in the dark, and of course we're in the daytime here, it doesn't really stand out in the daytime either. It's a blue bag. And uh, in the dark, navy blue is really, 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 really blends dark really well. Uh, of course, U.S. Navy use it. Uh, police officers wear navy, dark navy blue. This bag can blend in. If I don't have these things hanging off the outside, it just looks like a backpack. So I don't stand out as being someone who is is as prepared. Um, 
also you can look up things on being a gray man and what that really means is being gray and, and blending into your environment. Uh, in a situation where I may have this bag and hop out because I'm in an urban area or suburban area and I don't want to stand out, I'll take the things off of it that are on the outside, hang them to my waist, stick them in a cargo pocket. I keep regular, regular clothes on, um, t-shirt, shorts, what have you, but I want to use subdued colors like I have on gray or a, a black t-shirt or dark t-shirt and I probably wouldn't want to wear that. Don't tread on me. That might stand out a little bit except unless you're here in the south and then it's uh, amen. Uh, but in other parts of the country as well. But you just want to blend in. But once I moved into an area of a uh, wooded area, I would probably have a, a change of uh, a jacket or a pair of pants or something I could convert into or uh, in my truck, another video I'll do sometime is uh, how to how to set your vehicle up, and then have an extra thing. I mean, in this truck, I have a, a an extra jacket, pair of pants, and a pair of combat boots that I keep behind the seat. So if I have to transition out of uh, dressier clothes or work clothes into that, although my work during the day I typically wear khakis and a golf shirt, but I can transition and change my outfit for a more rural situation, uh, so I can um, adapt to where I'm at. Uh, to go over the contents of the